Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can join a math feature and an external table in order for them to have their variables and values joined as one. Please find the feature class that you want to examine and select Attribute Table from the drop-down menu. When examining the attribute table of the feature class, we observe that it holds 217 polygon features. If you select one of the rows in the table, the selected polygon is highlighted in the map as seen here, where Argentina is selected and highlighted. This tells us that each of the features in the attribute table is linked to the features in the map. The attribute table consists of columns containing specific information about each polygon. The column code contains a unique three-letter ID for each country. We will use this information when we join the feature class with the external table. Now, let's open the external table. When examining this table, we observe that it consists of 219 rows, meaning countries. Variables for the countries are shown in the columns to the right. Unlike the feature class, Weidenlam, the features in the table are not linked to the map, meaning that they have no spatial reference. When we, for example, select Argentina in this table, the country will not appear as highlighted in the map. In order to join these two tables, we need to utilize a column with the corresponding values in each of the tables. In the feature class Weidenlam, we found a column labeled code with the three-letter ID. We can find a column with identical values in the external table, here labeled country code. We will use these columns as a key to join the tables, so that the row assigned with the value AA in Weidenlam is joined with the row accordingly assigned with the value AA in your external table. When joining, please find Joins and Relates in the drop-down menu for Weidenlam and select Add Join. To the right in the window, you will find the geoprocessing window for the tool Join Data. You want the output of the process to be located in the Weidenlam feature class. Therefore, you set Weidenlam as the layer name at the top selection. Following, you want to make sure that you are using the correct columns in each of the tables. So please ensure that you have chosen code under input field and country code under output field. Press run when you are ready to process the feature class. When processed, you may open the attribute table again. Now finding both of the columns from Weidenlam and your external table. To make the join permanent, we need to export the join version of Weidenlam and save it under a different name. Please find data in the drop-down menu for Weidenlam and select Export Features. To the right, the dialog for copy features will appear. Here you can decide what to name your new feature. I decide to call it Weidenlam 13, as my data is from 2013. If you have data from, for example, 2006, you should title the feature Weidenlam 16. When the feature is copied, it will appear in the map and in the table of contents to the left. You may now delete the previous version of Weidenlam.